coming to this case story from an Iberian refinery. This refinery wanted to increase the capacity of their vis breaking unit with 40%. It was not really related to the vis breaking unit itself, but it was because they had installed a new hydrocracker. And to feed the new hydrocracker, they built a new vacuum distillation unit. And that vacuum distillation unit had additional capacity, which meant they had to increase the capacity of their existing vis breaking unit, and with around 40%. And the existing shell and tubes in the preheat train just couldn't handle this increasing capacity. There were both thermal limitations in the degree of heat recovery that they could do and hydraulic limitations. So the refinery instead decided to look for spiral heat exchanger solution.